Also new today, the Alabama Department of Health is now approved to test for the virus in its state lab. In Jacksonville, Alabama, two Jacksonville State University students have been quarantined after being exposed to the coronavirus in Georgia six days ago. JSU's president says before being quarantined, the students did return to class. They did not show symptoms and they are no longer on campus. Closer to home, 13 members of the Three Circle Church, which has locations in Mobile and Baldwin counties, have been quarantined in Bethlehem as fears of the coronavirus rise around the world. Here are pictures sent to us from one of the quarantined people. We're told that a Greek tourist who had stayed at their hotel in Bethlehem the week before tested positive for coronavirus when he returned to Greece. Church members have been told they will have to wait 14 days before they can cross the border back into Israel where they can fly home. We reached out to the Mobile and Baldwin County Health Departments. Now that the coronavirus has gotten closer, both stress hand washing, covering your sneeze and cough, and getting the flu vaccine as ways to help protect yourself. For more information, you can go to our website, WKRG.com. The family of an Alabama sailor who lost his life in a terrorist attack at Naval Air Station Pensacola was honored today by Governor Ivey. News 5 State Capitol Newsroom reporter Rashad Hudson is taking us there and talking with family members. Since 9-11, Alabama has been recognizing those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And today, Joshua Caleb Watson's name was added to Alabama's fallen heroes wall. And our hearts were always broken when uh, we heard of someone giving their life for their country. It now has a new meaning for the Watson family. Friday, the family of Joshua Caleb Watson, who lost his life saving others in the terrorist attack at Naval Air Station Pensacola, was honored in a private ceremony by Governor Kay Ivey. Watson's name was added to Alabama's fallen heroes wall inside the Capitol. Lots of brave men and women on that wall over there. Medal here was the first time it's been given out uh, under her. It was. Uh, so it's a real honor. Watson was killed nearly three months ago along with two others. His family says he was just living out his dream. There's still a ch chain in our backyard where he used to do pull-ups. He's always wanted to be a soldier and he always wanted to serve his country. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, WKRG News 5. Now, News 5 sent out this alert as soon as this story broke today. If you would like important information sent straight to your phone any time of day, just download our free WKRG News app. Recognizing remarkable women of the Gulf Coast. Brought to you by the University of South Alabama and USA Health. News 5 revealed the winner of Next Star's Remarkable Woman contest this morning. Roseanne Haven has been featuring our four finalists over the past few weeks, and this morning she announced which remarkable woman will represent the Gulf Coast in New York City. An exciting morning for Sarah Henkel and her husband Jim. They traveled from Lillian, Alabama to WKRG News 5 Studios in Mobile this morning, where Sarah would appear on live television for the big reveal. And Sarah is the winner of our Remarkable Women contest. March 17th, she will join other remarkable women from other Next Star stations across the country for the Mel Robbins Show, where one of you will be named Next Star Remarkable Woman 2020. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. I it compared with the other women who are here, the other three contestants chosen here. Um, I mean, it is truly, truly an honor. Um, I feel very, very blessed. I will take them with me in my heart to New York. Henkel closely watched the stories of the other remarkable women. She's very humble to be chosen. She's a retired teacher turned volunteer library president, a devoted wife and mother. We applaud her and all of our finalists. Dr. Regina Benjamin, the former Surgeon General who began her career three decades ago in the Bayou, who's now expanding care to the entire Gulf Coast region. She really loves and cares about this community. She's a true hero. Lisa Thomas McMillan, a waitress all her life who chose to spend retirement money to open a restaurant to bless others who can't 
can't afford a hot meal. You know, she didn't know what she was going to eat in college, and she did not forget. And Ella Mooney, a foster mother and therapeutic specialist who helps adults with special needs overcome their disabilities and find their gifts. By telling the stories of each of these women, I found they all have different backgrounds but similar traits. They are humble, hardworking, very giving, and have strong Christian faith. I thank all of them for their impact on our community and letting me get to know them and share their remarkable stories with you. Roseanne Haven, News 5. I've learned so much about managing my money on my own. One high school in Mobile County is teaching students about finances by having a credit union right on campus. In tonight's What's Working report, see how that has changed students' outlook on money. We'll get ready for more sunshine, blue sky, and seasonable temperatures this weekend. I'll have a look at your full weekend forecast and your next rain chance coming up in my full forecast. As the coronavirus threat grows, we separate fact from fear. Get informed in every newscast how to prepare, plan, and protect yourself and your family. All day Thursday on WKRG News 5. To learn how Southwest Alabama Partnership for Training and Employment can help you hire and train the best employees, visit swapd.org. It's the extreme deal of the day. Call now and get fast internet for less than $20 a month. If you ever thought about switching internet providers, the time to do it is now. For a limited time, you can get Access Internet 60 with speeds up to 60 meg and in-home Wi-Fi for only $19.99 a month for one year. Plus, there's no contract to sign. This is your chance to get real high-speed internet without the high price. Call 855-330-4175 today. Who stand with Trump? Not Bill Hightower. Hightower supported raising taxes on hard-working middle-class families. Hightower thinks tolling the I-10 bridge is a good idea. Hightower opposed a balanced budget amendment. Now, Hightower lied about supporting Trump. Like never Trumpers, he didn't vote in the Republican primary in 2016. Sounds more like a Democrat than a Trump Republican. Jerry Carl is the pro-Trump conservative who will stand with the president. I'm Jerry Carl, and I approve this message. There's only one dealership on the Gulf Coast where you can buy a pre-owned vehicle for just $29 down or only $99 a month. Chris Myers Used Car Megastore. Pre-owned vehicles, one owner trades, pay just $29 down. Over 400 vehicles to choose from. Payments from $99 a month. Others just $29 down or $149 a month. See more, save more. Used buyers shop Chris Myers. The Chris Myers Used Car Megastore. With over 75 years of savings and service, GEICO is the easy choice. We can even help you with homeowners... Oh, not again. <clears throat> oh, thanks. You know, automated lights are just the beginning. Pretty soon they're gonna have eyes. Everywhere. Well, good night. Geico, over 75 years of savings and service. Use it. He's an addict that's just going to use any help you give him to get better. She's just going to use again. Unless she's shown compassion and understanding. Changing how we talk about those struggling with opioid use disorder changes how they live with it. Break the cycle of stigma. Stop judging. Start healing. See how you can help change the conversation at StopJudging.org. You're watching WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on with Roseanne Haven, Peter Albrecht, Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth, and Randy Patrick Sports. This is WKRG News 5 at 6. Welcome back, everyone, to News 5. Many of you probably go to the bank on your lunch hour, and that's also the case for many students at one Mobile County High School. In tonight's What's Working, Devin Walsh tells us about a credit union inside Alma Bryant High School and how it's teaching students financial responsibility. For many students at Alma Bryant High School in Irvington, the hustle bustle of the school day includes a stop by the bank. Good morning. I need to make a deposit. All right. 
you there's that next week and have a good day. Yes, Navigator Credit Union is open for business inside the school. I call him once a week. Student Jason Socher regularly deposits his paycheck. Uh, most of the time I put all of my cash into the bank. Alma Bryant is the only school in Mobile County with a credit union inside. Principal Doug Essel says about 60 to 80 students per year open accounts. Teaching them the importance of budgeting their money, making sure they're saving their money, having a job, making sure they're making their deposits. It teaches them lifelong lessons that they're going to always have to have. Students like Olivia Merriman even have the opportunity to work on campus. She plans to continue working with Navigator at another branch during college. Before I started working here, I didn't even have a checking account. I didn't know anything about it. My mom did everything for me. And I've learned so much about managing my money on my own. It's never too early to start teaching students the importance of saving money for the future. I would like to see this more so in other high schools here in the Mobile County area. All right, just getting balances today. For What's Working, with photojournalist Matt Goins, I'm Devin Walsh.